Mm-hmm. What a day for a daydream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I'm doing a cool down after I've just finished running. So uh, y'all gonna join me for my cool down walk. Cause she, I probably should have waited until around this time or a little later when the sun's going out just a little more before I start running. I'm gonna keep that in mind next time. Uh, but anyway, Davy Brown was good. Ooh, hold on a second. I'm trying, I'm trying to put the put the top back on my my canister that Mary Max gave me. When I go running, I always fill this up. I had the cold water and, and it never lets your boy down. So, anyway, y'all saw the question, right? This is your man Rico. Rico, the opinion is I'm posing questions, sharing thoughts. And uh, walking this beautiful park that's not far. You know, it's, I love parks, and especially when they have water, bodies of water. You'll see it more as I continue to stroll. But um, I saw this video. Well, I've seen several reports videos of where um people are there are people who are taking a stance against the grooming um against the grooming of children by the lgbt and you know with the they try to have the drag queen reading hour and they try to uh have kids no they have kids let me see shout out to angela stanton king by the way shout out to angela stanton king who really who really digs her heel into their necks. You know, the LGBT, you want to talk about a group that's all just, that claims victim more than the Jewish community. They claim victim more than anybody. Like somebody's bothering them, but they're the ones, that, that community of alphabets, they, they do a whole lot of, try to be slick in a lot of ways. And uh, they try to be so slick as if people are bothering them, but if you don't keep your eye on them, they're always trying to pull a fast one. Members of that alphabet mafia, as people refer them to. Hey, Courtney, how are you? And so, this latest thing. Oh, shucks. Hold on, y'all. Damn. I could, <laughs> it's like the bugs are after them. Let me move my ass home. So, um, you know, Angela Stanton King. Shout out to Angela Stanton King. She's really talking to us in the last five years about how that community love to trying to go out to the kids and so let me put this in a broader picture you know when you want a tradition to keep going you know you have to start with the youth right if you want if you want your community to continue to grow you kind of i'm gonna use the words in quotes groom your kids to follow in your footsteps let's say if you if you uh let's say you're the top tv personality you probably know you groom your kids to get into television so or that's the way you you know you normally do it, but then there's other grooming that goes on, and of course they pretend that they don't do it, but the members of the alphabet mafia, they do it all the time, you know, trying to introduce children to or groom them to become the new members of the LGBT, and like trying to invite children to to parades, you know that. And I've never been to a gay pride parade, and I don't have any intentions. But what I've seen on television, what I've seen, you know, like the larger parades, man, they kind of filthy. They, they, they kind of, you know, kind of raunchy. It's almost like a place where children should not be. How y'all doing? Hello. It's like a place where children should not be. And they, they, you know, you, you've seen the photos and or the, the video of some TV. A lot of them, a lot of the men kissing each other, grown men. And then you have them uh, wearing thongs, rainbow thongs. And some of them, and like in New York and stuff, they actually walk out with their dinglings wagging around. And But you want children. You, you have grown people that bring under 18-year-old minors and little kids to those kind of damn them. I call debaucherous fests. And nobody cares about you having a parade, so don't think, oh man, Rico's woman, he's bashing gays. No. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pretend I don't have 2020 vision. And I'm not gonna pretend I don't have intelligence either. 
So it is what it is. If it's on social media, it can be commented on. And so now what they're doing is they're going into the elementary schools. You know, having these drag queen uh, hours, confusing the kids. And then they had to take, one state took out a health. You know how we used to have health? In junior high school, they talked about, you know, how babies were made and talked about, helped talk to the girls about you know, how to properly groom and it talked about, you know, stuff to help adolescent teenagers get more familiar, more comfortable with, you know, sexuality and maybe later on become, you know, get into relationships. Well, they can't do that because the LGBT, they want to teach kids about how to stick ding ding in another man's booty hole. Or how two girls can lick each other coochie. So they just say, you know what, fuck, we ain't going to teach it at all. They love, it's almost like they love to crash natural parties. Yeah, I said it. Y'all can debate it somewhere else in the comments if you want to. And so now I'm watching this video. Uh, and by the way, Andrew Stanton King even went to a, there was a nightclub, I think in Florida, where grown-ass drag, they were doing a drag show, grown people. They had this little girl. Uh, in that nightclub, somebody brought that little girl about eight years old, and they all and and she dancing, and they throwing money at the little girl. Then there's another video on social media where there's a little boy. I guess he's a trans little nine year old boy, and a bunch of grown ass men in this club. He's standing on the bar dancing, throwing this little booty towards the men and all that. And they throwing they throwing money at this eight year old or nine year old little, I guess trans boy. So that's the kind of shit they want, to, and that's the kind of grooming that people are upset with. You know, because people have, people, America is a heterosexual country. America, for the most part, is a country about mother, father, child, the black community. But somehow, they've gotten so bold as they, they ignore your wishes and still want to get in your child's face. Now, if your child gets to be 18 and up, and they decide, well, hey, I want to, I want to get down with the Rainbow Coalition. Fine, but you know what you're not gonna do is put it in a curriculum. Have y'all been seeing those videos where, the, where they got the parents up there reading the books? <laughs> that is hilarious. At these school board meetings, and they're up there reading the books that's in the libraries in elementary schools, like first, second, third grade. And one boy read it. Read a book, read a passage to a book that was on his bookmobile at his school. And he was talking about how two boys had sex for the first time. He talked about how he, how he ejaculated, how his penis was hard for the other boy. All of, They read all of that. And those school board members just kind of looked like that. Just looked. And then the dad came in and talked about it. He used very graphic language. But y'all look at y'all school board members. Y'all look at y'all, pay attention to y'all city council people. Those people are part of the system. They're there to help push these narratives because America has become modern day Sodom and Gomorrah, but it doesn't become like that because people are behaving badly. It's systematically done. So y'all keep voting for these certain people. Y'all don't know what they own until they get elected. Then we stop paying attention to what agendas they're pushing. And before you know it, your kids got a bunch of six foot ass dudes with Ronald McDonald wigs on and a bunch of RuPaul makeup on their face having reading time at your child's school. But I must say this. Every time I've noticed it, it's not at the inner city urban black schools. It's, the, it's, at, it's in these suburban schools where they are. So I guess that's good for the black kids who live in, a, I guess, poor districts. They ain't have to worry about that. But it's still, it's going to spread. And so I was watching this, uh, this video. I saw this video on Instagram. And those parents, you know, white parents... You know, and I think it was a couple of Hispanics, but a lot of white parents, they were protesting uh, some, some kind of LGBT function. And they literally came to blows. They were literally fighting at the protest signs. And I guess the people who were pro-gay and pro-LGBT, shit, they, they went at it. And I said, that's what I'm talking about. But I said, how come we don't have that kind of protest in the black community about all the stuff that's, that, that we want to protect our kids from? We just sit back. I guess we're waiting for white folks to do all the fighting. Because it's going to hit your kids too, black America, in the inner city, in the urban areas. It's like we're so defeated. Uh, and, and, but they hate, the, but then they'll turn around and say, no, it's not grooming. You are a liar. 
because y'all want homosexuality to continue to grow. You already got the media. You got all the movie TV. You got the TV shows. You got the movies. Feminism and LGBT are the thing that they push and they fund. Corporate America funds the most. And so when you own the media, listen to me. Hold on a second. Let me switch hands. When you own the media, you control the, the, the public opinion. You control thoughts. You can, pro, you can program thoughts. And black folks, we claim we got some media, but we don't push the stuff that we need to push. We push whatever old master who paying for the little hourly rates for advertisement. We push that kind of filth. That's why we got, got all these nigger shows. My Black Mafia family. P-Valley. Um, what's that? Uh, all the powers. Power Book 2. Power Cane. All that shit. So we, we don't push the stuff that we need that really move us forward. But the gay community, I can't knock their hustle because they, they have strategized. And it's only about, what, 1.2 million gays in this country? But they have strategized to make you think there's about 35 million of them because they put somebody in place in all aspects of life. And, the, and, then, that's why, and then, then that's why they're so bold. They said, you tell them, look, I don't want this in my neighbor. I don't want this in my child's school. They still show up. They still show up. They don't give a fuck. And that's why you don't need to give a fuck. When they, when they tell you blatant to your face, I don't give a fuck, that's when you start beating their ass. Like them white folks did down in Florida. So what, say what you want to say about Ron DeSantis. He showed, he, man, he talking about putting a monkey wrench in that bullshit. Say what you want to say. Because the Democratic governor would never done it. Matter of fact, a Democratic governor would have given them funding to go to more schools to groom little kids. It's just something. So, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll understand why it's so important in 2024 to vote differently. Uh, in Florida, they had a parade, right? Now, listen to this. Y'all think, if you don't think these people are trying to groom children to be the next generation um they had a parade and governor DeSantis of florida love him i hate him he said he signed a bill signed into law children will not be allowed to attend the gay parade okay but there's thousands of, of adults who want to go, they can go. Or 18 and ups can go. You know what those motherfuckers did? They canceled the parade. Now, y'all think they ain't trying to groom kids? <laughs> See, they wanted to walk around with their dingling out. They want to, two men want to tongue each other. And the, and the lesbian studs want to grab other women's ass in front of five yos. That's what they want to do. And so, Governor DeSantis shut the shit down and so they decide to just cut the parade off all together but y'all don't think this group of people are out for blood as y'all say the devil is out to snatch souls well that's what those devils are out to do every chance they get anybody that's, about, that's for god and nature oh they're gonna get on your ass and then y'all the so-called you so-called gay allies y'all ain't y'all ain't no help y'all may not just say none to those of us who are into God and nature, but your silence on their behavior is very telling. You know how y'all did when, when uh, there was black folks who didn't vote for Democrat? Well, your non-vote is a vote for Trump. You know how y'all did that? Or your silence on his behavior is approval of what he does. What I'm going to say to you gay allies out there, y'all love to say gay allies. Y'all are approval of them grooming children. You approve of them trying to groom children well you don't say nothing about it see how that works even though people didn't vote because of hell i don't think i have a good i don't think we have a good candidate but y'all accuse every black person who didn't vote for a democratic candidate or who didn't vote at all you just that's just a vote for trump well your silence on these homosexuals grooming organizing they get funding to groom children you are an accomplice. You are a culprit. You gay ally. I'm not speaking like to hate on them or anything because I don't hate gays. I don't like their politics. You understand? Because it'll be stupid. Hell, every, every time I look around, there's a gay couple, gay relative. I got gay relatives. Hell, some friends I know. Hell, probably is gay. Hold on. Scratch my back. Damn bugs. Ow. 
Hold on a second, y'all. Damn. Oh. I know. Trifling, but you're talking to a real person here, so. Shit like this happens. I walked in a little shade, took my shades off. Damn. I know. I ain't gonna edit none of this out. Hmm. So. So y'all cut it out, man. Stop playing games. It's okay to, to support and be fair to people, you know. You know, nobody hates them because of their chosen lifestyle or what they were groomed into as children. Because when, when a child is molested or raped, that's being, they're groomed into homosexuality. And I'm going to go a little further while I'm talking about this. You know, they always ask the question, you know, a lot of homosexuals say, well, I was born gay. And at first I was like, you're a liar. You weren't born gay. But then I started thinking, I said, wait a minute, we have all kinds of conversations in this country about food and chemicals and how to impact the body. And then I have to stop sometimes and say, Rico, wait a minute, think, brother. Because, you know, whenever we're sick or whenever we're well, it's food, right? Food makes us sick and it's certain food that can heal us. So, and we always talk about how the food supply in America is just so compromised with a lot of GMOs and chemicals. And we're always telling people to stop eating out of these damn restaurants because it's not real chicken and not real eggs and not real food. And so, and then we talk about how, you know, we got all these, are still feeding our babies in America cow's milk. When that milk is not supposed to be for human consumption. And it could because cow's milk adds on about 30 pounds or more to cows and all other forms of animal milk. It's not for human consumption. And so y'all keep following me now. Uh, so when a pregnant woman is eating out of these restaurants, eating out of Taco Bell or chemicals that's in fertilizers in your yard or chemicals everywhere that gets into the, the pores or somehow in the, in the bloodstream through the foods or some kind of chemical spraying around that gets into her stream and it impacts the, the chromosomes of the, of the developing fetus. And so and a lot of times these babies come out, you see them at four and five years old, just like, wow, what happened? You see them at six. <laughs> and so I was, so I had to realize that, that, America, the citizens of America are being chemically poisoned every day. Here, you got people like Bill Gates that's buying thousands and thousands of acres of land, reportedly, allegedly, so he can make GMO or, or GMO modified or fake food. And when we was growing up, our grandparents ate at the yard. That's how they were so healthy. And then they went and worked and tilled the land. We grew up, you know. We went to McDonald's and stuff. I think even I think in the eighties and stuff, they were still using real meat then. But right now, your child, you take them to McDonald's and Chick Fil A and all this stuff. That's not real food, and especially a lot of the chicken that we eat today. They're so full of hormones and stuff, and they show you. They got documentary documentaries that show you how they pump the, that that hormone in the chicken. The damn chicken was just hatched on Tuesday. And then one month later, chicken is ready for church's chicken? That's why we had them big ass wings at church's chicken. Tuck fried chicken. That chicken was raised in three months. They don't get that damn big. But we're consuming these chemicals. And so I said all that to say, yeah, gays can be born, but they're not created by God. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. So yeah, I tell them, yeah, you were born gay. Because the chemicals from the pregnant mother were compromised by the food she ate or what she was exposed to. So if I ever got somebody pregnant, we're going straight vegetarian. And I'm going to keep her ass in the house as much as possible or keep her close to me. Because uh, that's the stuff that's messing with the XX and YY chromosomes. Got it? And then you have, the, and then you have those who are socialized into the lifestyle. If you don't have a male figure there, to groom your boys, well, you got a bunch of fussy mamas and arguing aunties and old bitchy sisters. Guess what? You're going to have an arguing, fussy, bitchy boy. Emotionally unstable son. I guess you understand how that works? Food. We're going to have to concentrate on the food that we consume. 
But anyway, y'all pay attention. Stop, stop being silent about the grooming of children by the alphabet mafia. We're going to have to stop that. And it's not about anything I say or anyone else says. It's not about hating anyone. You know, telling the truth doesn't mean you hate somebody. You're just pointing out facts or giving strong opinions. I digress. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evening. It's your man Rico. Rico the opinionist. I'm sharing opinions, y'all. Whew. Allowing the sun to feed me that, that natural. What's that? Vitamin D? That's what you get from the sun? This You don't need to drink that cow's milk to get your vitamin D. Because there's no vitamin D in cow's milk. Allegedly, reportedly. Because I don't want to get in trouble with the FDA. <laughs> so, well, y'all be cool. Hold on. Let me put this over here. And, uh... I will talk to y'all in the future. Hold on one second. Let me stop and do this. Y'all be cool. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace.